Hi, my name is Doug Walleter. I'm the Operations Manager at the Society for Animals in Distress. I've been in wealth, animal welfare since 2002 and was a previous Chief Inspector with the NSPCA and used to manage the Wildlife Protection Unit. At SAID, we're all about bringing vet care to those that cannot afford it and to the animals that so richly deserve it. But our primary focus here is, is on domestic animals, equine, as well as farm animals. Hi, my name is Dr. Sandra Wadaya. I'm the principal veterinarian at the Society for Animals in Distress. My role is to diagnose and treat ailments and diseases in dogs and cats, as well as large animals. I also plan outreach campaigns where we go into the communities and educate the communities on animal welfare and educate them on how best they can take care of their pets. I love what I do here at the Society because it gives me joy and fulfilment whenever I see animals that come in needing our help and we send them back home happy and healthy, ready to live their best lives. Hello, I'm Priscilla Stichling. I'm the hospital manager here at the Society for Animals in Distress. And my day consists of ensuring that the hospital runs smoothly and that each patient that comes through the doors receives the care and treatment that they deserve. Hi, uh, my name is Hendrik. I work for Animals in Distress as the hospital assistant. Uh, today we are here at Oliven. We just brought a dog here which was sterilized uh, by us. So what we did here, we actually educated the owner on how to care for these animals, you know, making sure that the dog has potable, uh, clean water at all times and food, fresh food at all times, clean bedding and making sure that the kennels are also clean. And we also emphasize the fact that the dogs needs to, uh, you know, be played with as a way of stimulating them. So we did, you know, make sure that we educate them on that. Hi, I'm Meg Harvey, the Chief Executive Officer of the Society for Animals in Distress. As a non-profit organisation, we rely solely on the generosity of the public to ensure that we can continue doing our vital work in impoverished areas and to people that can no longer afford private veterinary care. So any donation, large or small, even furniture, we take and it really helps us to continue doing our work.